right, so I'm gonna do a product review. Sorry if you hear loud banging. There's a monstrosity being built next door. Also, there's not a lot of light in here because now it blocks out the sun. See the noise. Anyway, I'm gonna do a product review because when I was looking for uh, fishing backpacks, uh, there wasn't a lot of information on uh, certain backpacks or just any good ones. So um, I was using this, I'll show you. I was using this crappy backpack. Uh, actually, it wasn't crappy, it was okay. From I think I bought it from Target. It was like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, I was using this for a lot of things, but when I started using it for fishing, um, I like this part. You know, I could just stick my uh, tackle boxes, the little plastic ones right in here. Uh, put all my essentials in this little one and some of the bigger tackle things still got some trash in there uh, But what happens is it's not really made for all that heavy gear So it started ripping and just got to the point where it was so ripped that I couldn't use it anymore And it didn't really sit up very well You know because it's not really meant for all this stuff So I need to get a new backpack. I didn't want to spend a lot of money uh, <clears throat> So what I did was I bought this Akuma um, it was only 60 bucks, which is like around the same price as that other backpack, which was not a fishing backpack. So I just used this on my big Florida trip, so I got a lot of use out of it. Uh, meaning, I know what is good and what is bad about it. So it's very durable, which was awesome. Everything is, is built uh, for a lot of, um, you know, abuse, basically. The, you know, the zippers are heavy duty. Uh, the material itself is heavy duty. I mean, this thing, and it actually fits under the uh, airplane seat in front of me, which was awesome. So, the things that were good about it is that it was durable. Um, and there's a decent amount of room in here. You know, there's a, there's a decent amount of room in the top uh, thing. There's a decent amount of room in this one. Uh, now, there's only like one thing on the side, and then another one, it's not even a... I mean, it's just like kind of a, you know, there's not a lot of uh, little pockets, you know, uh, this one doesn't close. Um, so there really aren't a little, I mean, you got this little thing here, which doesn't really hold much. And then another small one here, which doesn't really hold much. So I found it was kind of lacking in storage space, exterior storage space. Uh, there are a few little slots inside that are good for things, but I need them on the outside. You know what I mean? I want to separate you know, uh, my pliers, my hooks. I know the pliers are supposed to go here, um, but I, I wanna separate things on the outside and have them easily accessible. And I just found that, you know, in the course of fishing and, and when you're out there doing battle and all those things, it just didn't have a lot of space uh, for me on the outside storage space. Now, the main reason I got this one is because of the bottom, the way it sits. I mean, I can stick my second camera right here, and this thing acts like its own little tripod, plus it's non-invasive, it's not sitting up, you know, uh, getting people's attention, it's just with my backpack, and that's what I like about it. That's why I got it specifically. Um, but the same reason why that works is also the biggest flaw of this backpack. Now, if you see in this front, it's got a nice little area here, nice little storage space, my pliers, you know, my line cutters, um, and, and that's awesome. And then, this is the other reason why I bought it, was not just the bottom, but because of this thing. The storage space, because this is what I keep all my tackle in anyway. Just in my other backpack, I would just slide it in the top. Well, this is pretty cool. Um, you see I've got different sizes, because I got my fresh water and a couple of salt water still in here. The problem with this, this is really cool. This actually fits a lot of tackle and it fits more than enough uh, for when I go out bass fishing and even for the salt water stuff. Um, it becomes heavy, but that's another, that's another story. So with these, uh, the problem is when you start to take them out like this, let's say you're fishing and you gotta get in there, and we all know when we're fishing, you know, time is of the essence. You know, you can prepare all you want, but when you're in the thick of it, and when you're out there in the middle of nowhere, you, you gotta do things quickly. So the biggest problem with this thing is, once you take a couple out and you start messing with it, look at this, it just flops over. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't sit, you know? That's a big pain in the butt when you're trying to dig in, you're, you're switching tackle boxes, you almost have to like turn it over like this, you know, so you can take the tackle out. 
and, and you know and find what you're looking for um, but like I said I mean that may not seem like a big deal right now just watching this and listening but I just spent you know seven days fishing uh, long very long days fishing and uh, that was a big problem this thing sort of slumps over when I'm trying to dig out tackle which means you know when I'm in a hurry because a giant redfish just broke me off and you only have a few minutes of sunlight left to catch another one I want to grab this I want to start getting things out of here I don't want this thing flopping over uh, I don't want this you know I'm trying to get another one out and this thing's starting to rub against this it really is a pain in the butt and it was a pain in the butt now the, they could have solved that by making this a little bit more uh, structural you know they could have built some you know put a little plastic thing in here like they do with um, you know with those coolers you know with those little coolers they have a little plastic rim uh, that you can take out so something in there which I, maybe I'll just build that myself. I'll just put in a little uh, plastic or some sort of durable um, <clears throat> material and the cardboard would work to kind of help this sit up. So when I take things out, it stays up. You know what I mean? Instead of flops over. <clears throat> so that is it. Um, again, the positives is very durable. I, I love the material. Um, it is very simple. There's not a million little things going on which I love. It's not that big. It may seem big, but it really isn't, and it did fit under my airplane seat. So it's durable, it's not that big, and I love how it, it's really hard and flat, so it kind of sits, so I can put my camera here and it doesn't fall over, unless, of course, you're taking stuff out. And that was my biggest problem with this, is when you take the tackle boxes out and you're trying to do stuff, this thing flops over, you know, it's falling all over the place, uh, and, and that's just not conducive with uh, when you're out there in the thick of it and, and trying to fish. You want things as organized as possible. The reason I got a new backpack is because my other one was just so disorganized and falling apart. So I want something that's quick and easy and uh, organized. And uh, But it, again, it's not bad. For its price, it was only 60 bucks uh, for that price point. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a good backpack. I'm going to continue to use it until this just gets too frustrating, um, but it's not bad. Like I said, there's a lot of space in here. Um, the other issue too is if you're not utilizing the, the storage space here with the little tackle boxes, um, you pretty much have to because that space is already used. You cannot, there's not a lot of space up here. You can't go into that space because it's used only for this. So you can't take those tackle boxes out and put something else in here or again the whole thing folds over so you have to utilize that tackle space um, which kind of shrinks the upper space not that big of a deal because there is enough space up here I just wanted to point that out so if you're looking for a good fishing backpack uh, that's not too expensive again it's only 60 bucks durable uh, not that big uh, this part is real nice it's real soft um, heavy duty you know it works so that's it. I just want to give you my quick product review because when I was looking for backpacks, uh, there wasn't a lot of information out there. Uh, so that's it. We got the uh, Akuma, 60 bucks. Uh, I think I got it from Taco Warehouse. That's it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.